The NFL, NFL take a knee protest is suddenly part of a southern Minnesota congressional race. A new Republican ad attacks a Democratic candidate for supporting the right to protest during the national anthem. A strategy we saw last week when President Trump campaigned in Rochester. But is it true? Here's Pat Kessler's reality check. The longest sustained applause President Trump got at a recent Minnesota rally was for this line. And we are standing proudly for our national anthem. It is part of a strategy to motivate Republican voters, like this negative ad attacking 1st District Democratic congressional candidate Dan Fian, who is an Iraq war vet with a bronze star for valor. Fian sold out to extremists, celebrating Colin Kaepernick's protests of our national anthem. That's a distortion of Kaepernick's protest and what Fian said. Kaepernick's take a knee movement is not about the national anthem. It's a protest against police violence and racial inequality, and it's dividing America. Public opinion polls say 54% of Americans believe kneeling during the national anthem is not appropriate. But look at the political party breakdown. 72% of Democrats say it's okay. 88% of Republicans say it is not. Republicans use the national anthem in Georgia. And I stand for our national anthem. Texas. I'm not able to stand, but I sure expect you to stand for me. Tennessee. I stand for our veterans, the president, and the Star Spangled Banner. Dan Fian, just another liberal sellout. In Minnesota, what Fian supported was Kaepernick's right to protest, tweeting, it is the precise use of freedom I fought for on foreign soil. We rate this ad deceptive, out of context, and mostly false. That's reality check. Fian is running against Republican candidate Jim Hagedorn, who is not responsible for the ad.